Hup ho! Greetings, everybody from Ventus. Welcome back to Let's Play the Sly Collection with Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Yeah, in the last episode, we destroyed some oil mains and we drained the battery. Battery chamber. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. Cool. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. Okay. All right. See you on the ground floor. Yeah. Whoosh. Sweet. Okay. Um, excuse me. There we go. Yep, so I've already done this a few times back uh, a few episodes ago with the... Uh, few episodes ago or was it two episodes ago i think it was three episodes ago so a few yeah oh jeez i'm when it was i was g collecting bottles so now i get to do it in the actual mission cool i am okay with this can you please like fall oh not on me good good okay we're good moving on yep so now we're here and we get to actually oh this dude had something okay I'm lucky. I'm very lucky right now. I feel lucky. Press your luck. No whammies. Big money. Woo! Huh. Can't touch that, obviously. Do you have anything worth stealing? Nope. Okay. There was John Bassan's little input. Whoa. Chill out there, Sly. Holy crap. Whoa. So obviously we can't climb down the way there because this thing will destroy us. But what we could do is just keep running around this way. This feels a very uh, wind wakery in a sense to me. Whoa, okay, I feel unsafe here. Okay, can just open this. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that Northern Light attractor. It'll be slagging minutes. Yeah. Not quite that simple. Oh. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity. To climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> they should put an elevator in this place. <laughs> oh, poor Sly. Whoa! Holy shit. Hey, buddy. Ignore me, will you? All of you, ignore me. Good. Do exactly as I say and ignore me. Get climbing, Sly. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. Okay, so here we have a uh, little thing where it is that uh, we just avoid where it's firing. And just keep trying to climb up. Oh, jeez. No. Shit. That did not work. It did not work. Is it this one that's bad? Nope. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Good timing. Okay, we're up here already. Good. And flip the switch. Sweet! That was easy. We did it! The collection mechanism is overloading! Yay! Gonna blow up? No? That, oh, okay, that, that, that's fine, I guess. However, so we're done with that mission. Let's get out of here. I'm glad I did this one first, actually. Because it saves me a lot of time. Because now I can just hop right up here and do the next one. Sweet. In order to overcome Jean Bisson and the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs and then bring it safely back to the safe house. 
will use it to direct the eagle's protective instincts against Visan. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. <laughs> That's a charming image, Bentley. Ah, uh, thanks, Bentley. I always count on you for support. So this is not some case of just fly on over. Nope, we gotta take this one step at a time. Go from one to the next to the next. Thankfully there's four of them. Whoosh. Okay, there we go. Nope, nope. Okay, there we go. We gotta go from one to the next so that we can get higher and higher. And as close as we can. Woohoo. Jeez, how many these things push you up high. Whatever, it works out well. Yep, so get ready to go across there. And... Huh. Obviously, if you see, of course, some graphics end up screwing with uh, how things look. And then one last one over... Wait, what? One, two, three, four, okay. Whatever. One last one over here, that'll get us right to where we want to go. I remember having issues with this one as a kid, so here's hoping that I can do it now. Aha! Watch out for those eagles, they don't look friendly. No shit, Bentley. Oh, what? 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 It did not touch me. It did not touch me. You are full of... I don't know beans. Maybe you've eaten by a bowl, digested, and shot out. I don't even know that. That was. Just, ugh, stupid is what that was. I'm going this way. Uh, I don't remember there being five oil mains. I only remember there being four. They should have kept it consistent. They didn't keep it consistent. I don't like inconsistency. Sorry, right now I'm just a little bit mad. Because of stupid shit that should not have happened. Whoosh. Can we whoosh yet? Yay. Good. Look at Sly just flexing them muscles. And now they're all at the ready for me. Watch out for those eagles, they don't look friendly. Okay, two, three. Just gotta be really careful to avoid all of them. Okay, four. Good, got it. We're good. Yeah, sweet, made it. Oh, I see, okay. We got an egg. Yay! Canadian Eagle Egg! Yeah, because that's easy enough. I get the strangest feeling it's not going to be that simple, though. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Stay frosty. Okay, good. So good so far. Just the really difficult part, of course. It's going to be not taking damage. Also, don't touch that because it's not good for you. Just gonna be not taking damage while up here. Great work, Sly. Oh, good. Sweet, we did it. Yay. So that's all day three. So now we're ready for operation. We're ready to finish out chapter seven. The Lumberjack Games are upon us. Operation Canada now, Games, eh? Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassad at his own game. So, though it pains <laughs> me to say it, We'll have to cheat. Yay! Murray, 
You'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. Cool. We'll keep Basad from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, <laughs> we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. I'm gonna grease the logs, okay. That one sounds the most interesting. Everything else involves a mechanic that we've learned, that we've, or that we've executed during all of this. That one just doesn't, that one just seems kind of random to me, but whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talents from Jean Bissot. Yeah! Slide let's do it! Keep a low profile when we get close. We don't this episode may go a little long you. because I'm doing this now, but mm, caring I am not. If it goes an extra five to ten minutes, I'm fine with it. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack game. <laughs> Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. <laughs> we'll uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. <laughs> This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Yeah. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. Just this kind of thing. I am great at this kind of thing, thankfully. Woohoo. Yeah. Awesome. I'm good. Not bad. <laughs> but watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Good job, Murray. That one was incredibly easy. Here is where it is not so easy. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. So here's the tricky part. Uh, you gotta stay in the curves of the wings. No! Bullshit! It didn't touch me. Assholes. Okay, good. Just don't let the talons touch you, most importantly. Okay. Gotta make it all the way across here without getting hit. It's gonna be one more in there. Yep, of course. Good. That it? That better be it. Okay. Now this part... Oh, he's on a time limit. I don't like a time limit for this kind of thing. Whatever. Let's just move along. Why the hell do you have the egg out immediately, Bentley? That's not safe. It's gonna break easier if you're just holding it out like this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, we're good, we're good, we can move, right? No? Okay. Okay, I don't like how close that timer's gonna, I mean, I know I got enough time, but it's just a little bit nerve-wracking just watching it tick away. Okay, we're good. Yeah! Oh, shit. Ha ha ha, damn son! You missed what? up. I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? Oh shit. Intimidation! So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Please, this'll be a piece of cake. See, like I said, piece of cake. Ouch! Electricity! Not my friend. Not in this instance, anyway. Holy crap, that's a cheap trick. Oh dear! Who? Okay, made it to the top, we're good. Oh, and I didn't even notice I was on a timer. 
Holy shit. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Ba boom, right? Yeah, 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 that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. How does no one notice this shit? Okay. Okay. Yeah, one down. Two down. He makes big jumps though, so you gotta be quick about this. Oh shit. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got him. Yoink! Boom! Yeah, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about, yo. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? <laughs> I see we're tied with only one event to go. But unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Yep, it is real easy actually. It drops, drops, and then drops. See, they give you a nice little notification what's happening. And now this time we want to run that little timer out because we want... Oh, dearie me. Okay. Oh, there's a limit to how far I can jump. Okay, good to know. So just stay in the middle. Make sure of it that you're safe. Let's drop in the... Okay, that one. Okay. Just gotta run out the time here. Whoa. Okay, good. Safe here. Yeah. Go, Bentley. Like a boss. No, no, no. Okay, good. We're good. We're all good. It's all fine, safe, and dandy here. Sweet. You're one lucky turtle. I'll give you Luck had nothing to do with you, uh, some bitch. I'm just that good. Skill, log roller, does it? This is crazy. John Bisson's got the. We're gonna grease it, right? Intimidated. There's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the yeah, judges damn, and lure can. them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Yep. Thankfully, we've got plenty of time we should do this. So let me just uh, equip some shit here. Let's do uh, let's do a uh, L1. Yeah. Sweet. So what we want to do is do this one at a time. Oh, jeez. Um, yep, that'll distract him there. Throw this one here now. That'll distract him there. Throw this one here. And then throw this one here. And hide. Excuse me, what? What? Pardon me. Get in the damn cave, you asshole. Oh, screw you. Okay. Time has been lost. Time has been unnecessarily lost. Not good. I guess I did not throw it close enough to the cave entrance for it to count in their opinion. Um, excuse me. No. No, no. What the hell? No! Oh my god. You know what? Screw you. I'm just gonna go beat all you up. Yarg. Yeah, okay, good. Just restart this shit. Holy shit. Because now we're coming up on to. Uh. Is this gonna be the thing that does me in after all this shit? Yeah, listen to that music. This is obnoxious. I remember hating this as a kid. 
You know what? I'm coming up on time here anyway, so I'm just gonna call an episode here. Join me next time, and I'll actually finish this freaking part. Come on, stupid- No! Dude, get your ass- Thank you! No, son of a bitch! Until then, it's a minute to thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Adios!